We have heard a lot about the ten kings who are going to rule during the last evil empire. So what are the ten kings going to be doing so that we can identify them? Here are seven ways. Number one. The ten kings rule over larger areas, regions, or sectors, and collectively rule over the world. Revelation 17 verse 12 and Daniel 7 verse 24. This means they rule over the city of Babylon. They are not the same as the kings of the earth, they are different. The kings of the earth rule over land, like a ruler of a country. They are controlled by Babylon, which is the center of commerce, money, Revelation 17 verse 18. Number 2. The ten kings will not mix with each other. They will be partly strong and partly broken, but will have a common vision like the toes on a foot, Daniel 2 verses 40 to 43. The iron represents Rome, or the Catholics. The clay represents the Arabic people, or Islam. The rationale for the clay being Arabic people is based on the color of the clay, and that clay is less structured than iron, more fluid like nomadic, the Arabic people. Notice, the Catholics and Islam don't mix religiously, but they do have a common vision of hate against the Jews and the Christians. This can be found in Catholic history and in the Quran, Surah 514 and 551. Number 3. They will influence and mess with the seed of men, such as influencing the reproduction of mankind, Daniel 2 verse 43. This could include cloning people, mixing human seed with animals or aliens, demons, transhumanism, influencing or brainwashing children. This is exactly the same agenda that the fallen angels had during the time of Noah, Genesis 6 verse 2 and Jude 1 verse 6. Number 4. The three strongest kings are the king of the south, the kings of the east, and the king of the north, Daniel 11 verses 40 to 45. Number 5. The ten kings will rule the world for the first part of the seven years, Daniel 7 verse 20 and 24. Then the beast, the Antichrist, will uproot the three strongest kings in order to show his power, Daniel 7 verse 8 and Daniel 7 verses 20 to 24. Number 6. The beast will rule with the ten kings for one hour, thereafter they will surrender to him. The ten kings will still rule over the earth, but they will surrender their authority to the beast, Revelation 17 verse 13. Number 7. The ten kings at the end of the seven year reign will destroy the city of Babylon, Revelation 17 verses 16 to 17. Don't forget to subscribe.